congratulations. It's come through. The funding source has called you. The funding source has sent a letter. The check's on the way. The important thing to remember is this, where, this is where the real work begins. We have to maintain the award, and we have to plan for the future. The post-proposal process perhaps is its own course and certainly deserves some remarks here. It's important once the grant comes in to establish your own accountability to the funding source. You do that in two ways. First of all, through the budget and in the personnel. Make sure that you're as committed to doing this project after you receive it as you are when it seemed like such a good idea to go for the funding source in the first place. It's important to be able to put the right people in the right project as soon as you can, and it's important to be able to maintain the budget consistency for the plan that you established in the first place. It's also important to define any restrictions once the award comes in that perhaps you didn't understand before on types of expenditures, on the time of the grant, on any content of the grant that may have had more restrictions or any operational parts of it as well. For example, in the content, uh, National Endowment for the Humanities has started asking uh, artists to sign, you know, statements that will that will free them from, uh, from from making any performances or writing any materials or designing any art that could be considered obscene. Uh, these things have to be ironed out before the first part of the check is cashed. Um, got types of expenditures. Again, if, you, if you're not sure if the budget allocation allows you to do certain things with it, don't begin spending. Certainly ask first. It's only the beginning, so the first thing to do is to thank the funder. In most cases, some not, but most cases, you can publicize your success. And then begin the snowballing process. You, after all, are the successful recipient of a grant. You do want to talk to others about it. You do want to begin networking with others who have gotten grants from the same agency. You also want to establish, at this point, a more solid relationship with the funder. Even if the funder doesn't ask you, you should provide frequent updates. Any events that you have that are in any way related to what the funder has done, certainly invitations should be issued. Any press releases, any documents, any publications that come for it should at least always be offered to the funder as well. Again, if in doubt, ask, especially about record keeping and expenditures. Now, it is quite possible that more than one funding source might fund a project, but it's very important that you keep a very careful record of where the grant dollars are and where they're going for. I've listed here in the slide, don't mingle grant dollars. Again, more than one funding source can support a project, but it's very important to keep a very clear trail of what funding source is supporting what part of the project. Again, and I put exclamation points here, if in doubt, don't spend the money without asking the funder about a particular kind of resource allocation, perhaps a particular kind of equipment that might be bought. I know in my own grants that I get, there are often very, very precise restrictions on graduate students and faculty and equipment. These things must be answered before the resources are expended. I put down neurosis as a virtue. As far as the budget, it is indeed. I think you need to have a very careful plan, work plan, and a very carefully articulated budget in support of that. Whether required or not, project and progress reports are, are in order. I don't think phone calls are sufficient, no matter how lax the funder seems to be. It is worth the time using the tool of writing to get your point across that the grant is going in a certain kind of way and to provide those updates. And when the grant is over, it's also important to close out the grant with the final budget assessment and with the final report of the grant as well. In certain kinds of conditions, for example, in grants involving human subjects, there's an, an IRB, an internal review board application, and that has to formally be closed out. So make sure you know how to end the grant um, with the funder and how to close out the grant at that point. There is a need in this part of the process to establish and maintain the trust that you got when the, when the expenditure was made in the first place to fund your project, is very significant to maintain and establish that trust over a period of time. It is especially important if you're going to seek similar funds from that particular agency or from a similar agency in the future. Over a period of time, 
in certain areas, your reputation is made or broken by your ability not just to get grants, but your ability to manage grants and to do well with them once they're received. So the post-proposal process of grantsmanship is a very significant part of proposals.